As concerns are growing over North Korean troops' involvement in Russia's war of invasion in Ukraine, a new study has revealed an alarming issue. According to sources familiar with the assessments from group of 20 countries, North Korea may eventually deploy 100,000 troops to support Kremlin in hostilities in Ukraine if relationship between Pyongyang and Moscow continues to strengthen. Being part of multiple evaluations concerning the growing alliance between Russian President Vladimir Putin and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, the new report emphasized that while this scenario is not expected to occur in the near future, the deployment of 100,000 troops would likely happen on rotation basis over time rather than in a single batch. A similar concern was voiced by Ukraine's ambassador to South Korea Dmitro Ponomarenko in early November. In an interview with the U.S. media, Ponomarenko said his country expected up to 15,000 North Korean troops deployed to fight in Russia's border Kursk region where Ukraine launched large-scale incursion in early August. South Korea's defense ministry and presidential office have refused to comment on these claims. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has repeatedly urged Western allies to respond to Pyongyang's troops' deployment in Russia, stressing that Pyongyang's involvement in the war would further exacerbate the conflict. The deepening cooperation between Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un will also be raised at the G20 summit in Brazil this week including by German Chancellor Olaf Scholz when he meets Chinese President Xi Jinping. Prominent Russian opposition figures led a march of at least 1,000 people in central Berlin Sunday, criticizing Russian President Vladimir Putin and his war in Ukraine and calling for democracy in Russia. Behind a banner that read, No Putin. No war, the protesters were led by Yulia Navalnaya, the widow of top Putin critic Alexei Navalny, as well as Ilya Yashin and Vladimir Karamurza, who were freed from Russian detention in a high-profile prisoner exchange this summer. Shouting, Russia without Putin and other chants in Russian, the demonstrators held up signs with a wide array of messages on a red background, including, Putin equals war, and, Putin is a murderer, in German. Some marched with the flags of Russia or Ukraine, as well as a white-blue-white flag used by some Russian opposition groups. Organizers said the march began near Potsdamer Platz and went through the Brandenburg Gate and Checkpoint Charlie and was expected to end outside the Russian embassy. The march demands the immediate withdrawal of Russian troops from Ukraine, the trial of Vladimir Putin as a war criminal, and the release of all political prisoners in Russia, the protesters said in a statement. Как у вас настроение? Вы здесь собрались для того, чтобы сказать нет войне. Нет войне. Нет войне. Нет войне. Нет войне. Нет войне. Будет свободно.
свободной. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has overseen a field trial of domestically produced kamikaze drones, state media reported. Kim stressed that the country needs to soon move from prototyping to full-scale production to be able to incorporate large-scale use of unmanned aircraft into its military doctrine. The news agency KCNA added, the agency published photos showing Kim and two other senior officials observing what it claimed was the deployment of several unmanned aircraft, images of which were blurred. The prototypes tested were developed by a research facility associated with North Korea's unmanned aerial technology complex. The report said, boosters are used for the launch of the weapons while engineers are exploring various types of airframes with one model apparently designed with four wings in a cross configuration, according to the report. North Korean drones were designed for both ground and naval warfare, having different ranges and employ some form of homing after reaching the end of their programmable path, the KCNA claimed. According to the KCNA, the drones reportedly flew along various routes and struck targets with precision. Images from the report showed what appeared to be a BMW sedan being destroyed and older tank models blown up, highlighting the drone's capabilities. Kim expressed satisfaction with the weapons development process and stressed the need to build a serial production system as early as possible and go into full-scale mass production, noting how drones are becoming crucial in modern warfare. According to KCNA, Kim highlighted that drones are inexpensive and straightforward to produce, making them suitable for various military applications. The report did not specify whether Kim directly mentioned South Korea. It is expected that North Korea will then supply Russia with kamikaze drones. These drones will also be used against Ukraine. Russia is also helping North Korea in the development of such drones. In October 2024, North Korea accused South Korea of deploying drones to disperse anti-North Korean propaganda leaflets over Pyongyang, warning of potential forceful retaliation if such actions were repeated. South Korea's military neither confirmed nor denied these allegations. Tensions in the region have escalated while Kim showcases advancements in North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. These developments include nuclear-capable weapons and intercontinental ballistic missiles with the potential to reach the U.S. mainland.